On the far east end of Amway's Ada campus, inside Building 72, the Glister production line is a blur of activity. Machines and Amway's top-notch production team hard at work keeping pace with demand for Glister. After all, Amway sells 1.6 tubes every second, according to 2016 sales numbers. But hold on, let's back up a minute. How did we get here? There's a lot of work that happens before we get to the production line. So let's start from the top, literally up on the third floor. Workers begin their day by checking where each batch is in the process. A simple magnetic color-coded board does the trick. From there, though, things get much more high-tech. An example, we'll scan this license plate. The computer will verify that it's good. We'll, we'll tear the scale, and we'll put our bucket on there and we'll weigh up to what we need. They start by adding raw materials, which are scanned in and pre-weighed for every batch of glister. Our tour guide, crew leader okay, Jeff right Johnson, now, explains. And it'll print a ticket with all that information on there. What pre-weigh station, who did it, what time, order number, BP, AMC, everything you need to know. And that provides traceability. In other words, Amway yeah. can tell where the materials in your toothpaste came from and when. So we can go from delivered product to somebody's door all the way back to this room here. To all of the beginning. When it was made, what the raw materials were, even who made it. Yes. From here, the raw materials are added to huge mixing tanks by batch. Did I mention huge? 24,000 pounds gets yep. mixed about three batches a day, 24,000 pounds a batch. From here, when it's done, it goes to a whole tank and then it waits to get run on the lines. A computer station tells the operator exactly how much of each raw material to add, right down to the minty signature glister flavoring. So right now what they're doing, we are adding the first raw to the tank. Once the batch is mixed, gravity helps the pump send it down one floor. The glister travels down the pipes into large storage tanks on the second floor. Basically the line fills the product. When you empty one, they open another tank, empty that tank until all orders are filled. And that brings us down another level, all the way back to the filling line on the first floor where we started. Those 73,000 pounds of glister produced daily all need to get put into tubes for Amway business owners and customers around the world. It's a process Jeff and the team are proud of. Seems how we make so many batches of it, you do get that sense of accomplishment after the end of the day. If your batch is done, you pumped it, you start to make another batch maybe. Um, yeah, it's a sense of pride and you know, workmanship and you see the end product. Once the tubes are filled and boxed, the cases of glister are loaded onto skids then taken by forklift to the loading dock. They'll travel by truck to distribution centers in North America and by container ship to centers around the world, eventually making their way into millions of homes to brighten smiles. The final stop on the glister journey. In Ada, Chris Cope's WHQ News.